The Spiderwick Chronicles video game is the official video game of the Paramount Pictures Nickelodeon Films movie, The Spiderwick Chronicles. When you play the game, you take on the role of each of the Grace children, Jared, Simon, and Mallory, and we also allow you to play as Thimbletack. What is that hideous thing? His name is Thimbletack. He's a brownie, except when he's angry, then he becomes a bogger. You little twerp! Each of the kids has their own abilities and personality, so Jared's kind of like the brash uh, twin who acts before he thinks. <laughs> wham, wham, you know? Things that you would normally be afraid of, I think Jared is more willing to jump in and explore. Simon is sort of a little bit more thoughtful. The concoction I made seems to work on them pretty well. He goes and puts together a uh, squirt gun that squirts tomato juice. He does this cool John Woo move where he jumps backwards and does this full 360 degree spray with his tomato gun. Boom, and it, you know, it dissolves everything in his pathway. And Mallory's a little bit more mature. She's the older sister. She's more athletic. And she's also really good with a fencing sword. I mean, she's the coolest. She has the sword. I mean, you can't beat the sword, really. No baseball bat defeats a sword. Once she starts to unleash her special attacks, watch out. Thimbletack was probably one of the most fun uh, fairy creatures to bring to life. You're shrunk down, so everything is giant in scale. It's kind of funny because looking at the Spiderwick Mansion from his level, it looks like the place should be condemned. There's uh, water dripping everywhere and electrical uh, sparks happening that he has to avoid, and uh, also cockroaches, which are his main enemy. My favorite um, characters were probably the sprites. As you capture each sprite, they give you a unique power. You actually get an opportunity to record them in your own version of the field guide. There's pleasant creatures in the game, and there are evil creatures in the game. There are lots of goblins in the game. There's so many of them, and they come from everywhere. And, and the goblins are definitely a creature you want to avoid. Then there's Mulgara. Mulgara! Quite an intimidating fellow. Huge and ugly. Other times, Mulgara will actually become a spy and turn into a crow. The river troll, he's really fun and scary. I won't desert you. The land troll. Chasing you, spitting up all kinds of dirt and stuff, and, and slobber. Hog squeal's my favorite. What do you say we help each other out? There is this world that we don't even realize exists, and you just have to look close enough to see it. Not only do you get to play what you see in the movie, but you get to go beyond what you see on the screen and explore the universe. Once you see the film, this is gonna be the experience that you're gonna to wanna to have if you wanna continue the adventure and all the wonder of the film. We are very fortunate in the fact that we got uh, Freddie Highmore, who plays the character of both Jared and Simon. Well, I first got involved with Spiderwick by reading the books through. It's basically about these three kids who and their mum who go to live in this house in the country where they discover an unseen world. Now you believe me? You hear Freddy and you think it was just straight from the movie. He pulled something off that I think a lot of even more seasoned older actors have a hard time with, which is using your voice to portray two different people and make it sound like two different people. I mean, it's also funny seeing yourself, you know, not just one of you on the screen, but two of you at the same time, it's a bit odd. I need you to make something I can use to wear this stone. What, like a necklace? No, I need to hold it on my eye. Jared's greatest strength is he's brave. He is a true hero in that way, and he goes out just for the sake of his family to defend them. He's going for it, you know, he's, he's always, um, he doesn't really give up. I mean, sometimes he's a bit more aggressive, but that also helps him become, become the hero in that he, he's there to fight off and he's the brave one in the family. Simon's voice is more lighter. It's higher, you know, he's more, uh, he's more happy all the time. Mr. Tibbs, come back! Mr. Tibbs! Mr. Tibbs, come back! Simon's greatest strength is probably his intelligence, which he uses in the game to create the weapons to fight the Mulgrath and the goblins. I think it's great fun to be able to go in, you know, and, and be, become Jared and, and Simon and Maori, and that's what people like. When they, when they see the film, they, they wish, you know, I wish I was there, and they can be there through the game. We're so fortunate we got Sarah Bolger to actually do her voice uh, as Mallory Grace in the game. Because she's such a good actress, it also makes her character come even more alive in the games. My character is Mallory Grace. It's crazy looking at yourself in the video game going, this person's based on me, this is mental. Mallory's greatest strength is kind of keeping them together. And, I mean, you'll see in the video game, she completely 
looks after the two boys. Get away from him! She's the person that I want to be, frankly. Um, she is so strong and she's cocky, but in a good way. Okay, I'm gonna do something about that. We need some way to burn the book. Yes! Uh, very nice. I killed it! They're after Simon, get Simon! When you're controlling the character in the game and you're hearing Sarah's voice, it resonates. We've got to destroy the book then. We'll burn it up. Wait, what are you doing? We're supposed to be looking for Arthur's Griffin. I think one of um, her biggest traits in this movie and the video game is her fencing. She can really do some serious damage with that sword. I mean, I think if you were gonna play a character in the video game, you'd have to pick Mallory. I mean, she's the coolest. She has the sword. I mean, you can't beat the sword, really. No baseball bat defeats a sword. Come on. When you play the game, you get completely involved and you're surrounded yourself by being in these characters' positions. It just brings to life what the, they really went through. Their world is closer than you think. Since the game's based on a, a major motion picture, uh, we actually were able to go and visit the film set uh, so we could gather information for um, building our own levels. We actually saw in person where the film was being shot. They had built the entire Spiderwick mansion. We, we were driving up to it, looking at it, and just like, it blew our minds because it was the mansion out of the books. I was surprised how, you know, how true to the, to the real house it was, and it was exactly, it was exactly mirrored in, in the game, which is kind of cool. Every little knick-knack that Arthur had in his house was there. It was dusty. It smelled like old people. I mean, I could walk around the house in the video game and I completely knew my way around. It's brilliant. It's absolutely, it's um, completely correct. And there are a couple of key areas that relate to what you see in the movie. The deep woods are where you encounter a troll, a river troll. Come see me. So you'll recognize the tree houses where Hog Squeal likes to hang out and capture his birds. <laughs> You know, the kids go down into the sewers and they're chased by a, a troll. Chasing you, spitting up all kinds of dirt and stuff and, and slobber. You have to beat them to the, uh, to the ladder that leads to the street. If you don't, you're troll meat. From the movie, we also recreate the goblin camp. The rock quarry is a, is, is a beautiful place because it's, it's a vertical kind of a situation where you've got you've got a lot of can, you've got canyon walls you've got walls of rock and stone not only do you get to play what you see in the movie but you get to go beyond what you see on the screen and explore the universe thimble tack was probably one of the most fun uh, fairy creatures to bring to life in the game most of his uh, gameplay takes place within the walls of the spiderwick mansion which previously you've only seen as one of the grace children at their scale but you actually go down to his level uh, of size and go into the walls, and the gameplay is really kind of crafted for him. I think the film and the game are kind of getting kids to look at things closer. Look at things closer. Look at, you know, look behind the leaves. Look behind here and behind there, and you, you'd be surprised sometimes at what you might find. <laughs>